to play Million Dollar Answer, our champion Chester Gulrick, his category automobile tires. Chester knew who introduced the first tubeless tire, Goodrich. Who made the first American-made radial, Goodrich. He even knew who introduced the only steel radial that fixes most punctures in the tread up to a quarter inch in diameter. Who? Goodrich. Now for the really big money, what famous tire company has a blimp? Goodrich. B.F. Goodrich. We're the other guys. Remember? Famous for his tires, the other guys. You knew that. But here's something very few people do know today. The B.F. Goodrich Company did make blimps during World War I for the United States Navy. But only for a very short time. That's because it was busy launching other things instead. Like inventing products that would change our lives, and in fact, entire industries. Hello, I'm Walter Cronkite. Throughout its first 125 years, imagination, invention, and innovation are what this company has been all about. They're also how B.F. Goodrich became a driving force in today's aerospace and specialty chemicals industries. Does that mean it no longer makes tires? Well, that's right. Tires became part of its past as the company brought its strengths to exciting new industries. That willingness to change, to take on new challenges, happens to go all the way back to an inventive young man named Dr. Benjamin Franklin Goodrich. A Union Army surgeon during the Civil War, he was drawn to a post-war opportunity, helping a small rubber company to its feet and soon guiding its development as its president. His first prescription, moving the company west of the Alleghenies to the industrial frontier. In fact, Goodrich opened the first rubber factory in Akron, Ohio in 1870, setting in motion the growth of America's rubber industry. The company's first major renovation sprang from the mind of Dr. Goodrich himself. Back then, fires were battled with fire hose made of leather, which would often burst, bleed, and become useless. His solution? Fire hose made with cotton fabric and rubber, an invention that would help save property and lives for generations. This, along with rubber products for early industry, for the home, and for early transportation, gave BFG the solid foundation Dr. Goodrich had worked day and night for. The spirit of invention, a strong leadership tradition, both of which were about to come in handy as America entered the age of the automobile. Simply put, the industry wouldn't have gotten rolling without B.F. Goodrich. It pioneered the very first air-filled tires for the first American car built for sale to the public. But now that we could go, how would we know how to get there? Or just follow the Goodrich road signs. And while you're at it, have a free road map. Just a couple of useful ideas from BFG help bring us a whole new concept, using our cars to travel. Then as we needed to travel faster, farther, and safely, BFG responded with the first tubeless tire, the first American-made radio tire, and with dramatic improvements in rubber and tire construction all along the way. As a result, BFG grew into a multinational Fortune 500 company, not only making tires better, but affordable for more people. But this was America, and even then it just wasn't fast enough, daring enough, inventive enough, which is why it was also good that PFG was around to help the aircraft industry take off. Shortly after the Wright brothers' first flight, Goodrich was already helping aviation pioneers take to the skies and touch down on airplane tires designed for the reliability and safety that this industry would demand. As a matter of fact, in 1927, Goodrich Tires flew with Charles Lindbergh on his historic transatlantic flight. But in reaching new heights, flyers soon discovered their worst enemy, ice. Goodrich took up the challenge, ultimately developing aircraft de-icers, as well as successful ways to attach them to the aircraft. And about the matter of landing, BFG took the initiative again and became a leading supplier of aircraft wheels and brakes. 
Even the pioneers themselves came to Goodrich for solutions. The world famous aviator Wiley Post, the first high altitude pressure suit. Three decades later, NASA turned to VF Goodrich for the space suits that would help launch America's space program. Starting to make some connections between yesterday and today? Well, here's another one. Very early in this century, in one of America's first research laboratories, BFG began developing chemical additives that would improve the quality and economy of rubber. This revolutionary work created the foundation for BFG's specialty chemicals business today not to mention some exciting chemistry along the way. Back in the 1920s, a Goodrich chemist named Waldo Seaman was merely trying to develop an adhesive. Unexpectedly, he discovered a way to make a plastic out of polyvinyl chloride, PVC. That plastic today is commonly known as vinyl. The good doctor teed up an experimental product. He made a golf ball with it to demonstrate vinyl's remarkable flexibility and resiliency. Although one day vinyl would become an enormous industry. At the time, no one quite knew what else to make of it. But they certainly would, as we'll see. Meanwhile, Goodrich scientists also were at work on another development. Synthetic or man-made rubber as an alternative to natural rubber. After years of pioneering research, BFG found the answer, and at the right time. During World War II, Japan cut off the supply of natural rubber from the Far East. Goodrich played a leading role in getting America's synthetic rubber production up and running. That inventiveness helped our nation win the war and created the multi-billion dollar synthetic rubber industry. Since that time, synthetic rubber has become a standard material in so many products we enjoy today. By the way, remember PF Flyers? There go Jane and Henry and Joe On their way to the rodeo They're the fastest kids on the block, you know In their PF shoes, yeah! They fly down the street, cause look at their feet They're wearing PF shoes The tough shoe that helps you run fast and jump high Goodrich made them. They were the premier tennis shoes of their day, and just one reason why Goodrich became a household name. From the 30s to the 80s, Goodrich rubber products helped out all around the home, provided fashionable solutions for all ages, and millions of tires to keep us on the move. It's the radial age, now the world is safer on a great new tire. Vinyl finally came of age, too, with early Goodrich products ranging from the extremely practical to the highly conceptual. That's the way it was. But as we know, the age of advanced technology was dawning, which is why BFG, with its experience and drive, would continue to move in new directions, leaving old businesses like tires and vinyl to pursue the exciting ones they led to. Where imagination, invention, and innovation, the same tools that Dr. Goodrich used to build his company, are very much at work today. In BFG Aerospace Products and Services, from the ground up and as far as the imagination can reach. In specialty chemicals from BFG that go into today's products, improving them to improve the world around us. That's something worth knowing. And here's one last fact. The future will be brought to us in part by more than a century of tradition, including a heritage of strong leadership, generations of scientific minds, decades of proud workforces that made it all possible, and those who have yet to share their imagination, their spirit of invention, in helping to launch a new age of exciting innovations.